Hi, hello and warm welcome everyone to my channel of Profound Insights, a journey of learning, inspiration and discovery where you can learn, grow and share. Before we proceed further, please click on the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to get a notification of inside content and this will encourage me to come up with more such videos. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. And without further delay, let's jump right in. 8 Tips to Resolve Your Conflicts Within Your Workplace Every workplace has some kind of conflicts. It can be a small or a big conflict. But sometimes it affects you personally as well. Many times people leave their jobs due to conflicts. Rather than leaving, you can try to resolve the issues. Discussing an issue can be uncomfortable or even difficult. But doing so will be beneficial in the long term. Your organization, your team and your professional development will be in a good environment if you can develop effective conflict management techniques. Listen this video to know 8 tips for addressing office conflict whether you are personally involved or trying to arbitrate. Deal with conflict. Instead of putting it off, you need to act as soon as you can. Conflict is difficult to face directly. However, delaying too long to address it harms your engagement and productivity. If you are an employer or managing a team, encourage an accountability-focused culture that forces you and your staff to take ownership of unpleasant topics. Deal with the dispute as soon as possible and you will be glad you did it. Determine the type of conflict. Identify the kind of conflict you are experiencing. Start by looking for the conflict's origin. Then try to determine whether it is a task, a social or a value conflict. Knowing the type of dispute you are dealing with will help you choose the best course of action. If you don't do this first, you will probably end up wasting time trying to resolve problems that are unrelated to the actual conflict. Listen, when someone explains their side of the story, pay careful attention. One of the most important professional abilities you may have is active listening. Human nature makes it easy to start speaking up without any thought for the other parties involved, regardless of your role in the workplace issue. Hence, to find a solution, you must take a step back and give listening a precedence over talking. When it's your turn to talk, the other person will eventually be inspired to follow suit. Common ground. Find a point of agreement between the parties involved in the conflict. Starting with points that you can agree on is the best strategy to handle disagreement at work. If you are actively involved in the conflict, take your time and concentrate on the outcome rather than who is right. If you are serving as a mediator, listen to the discussions and bring out any points of agreement that others might miss. Plan of action. Make an action plan then carry it out. It's time to effectively handle workplace problems. Once you have managed to truly bring them into the open forum. This needs a clear plan that is followed thorough on just like any other job goal. Whatever the plan, as long as you stick to it and end the issue as a result, that's all that matters. Communicate with each other. Encourage mature and polite communication between the two parties. Everyone should agree to behave respectfully before the discussion even starts. Accept the fact that rude language, yelling and any other immature actions are not permitted at all. Once you have done that, you can start handling any issues at work with composure and skill. Brainstorm. Come up with ideas for responses as a group rather than alone. It can be tempting to work alone to find a solution when dealing with conflicts at work. Sometimes it seems simpler to operate alone rather than in a team. But if you want a long-term solution, you will need to work and brainstorm with your team. If you do this, then your employees will experience a sense of ownership that can stop future disputes. Learn your lesson. List the lessons the conflict has taught you. You have learned how to handle workplace disputes. Collect lessons from the conflict with the help of your entire team so that you can try to prevent similar situations in the future. Now assess what worked and what didn't. This will help to keep improving. Although taking on a leadership role or functioning well in a team is challenging, you will have the opportunity to develop these abilities. Growth is the key to resolving conflicts. It's usually because you are venturing outside of your comfort zone, that you feel uncomfortable, but on our path to self-improvement, we all need some assistance if we are to realize our greatest potential. 
I hope you enjoyed this video as we wrap up this incredible journey together. Remember that the adventure doesn't end here. Keep listening to other such videos at Profound Insights under Career Conversations Navigating Success Playlist. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insightful content and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay inspired and keep reaching for the stars. Thank you.